In this problem, we have a limit, and the directions say to use L'Hopital's rule to evaluate the limit. So let's verify that we can actually even use L'Hopital's rule. So if we take this number and we plug it in, we get e to the 0 minus, and then here we have 1 plus 0. And on the bottom, we have 0 squared. e to the 0 is 1, so we get 1 minus 1 over 0. So we get 0 over 0. So whenever you have that, you can use L'Hopital's rule. So we're OK there. So L'Hopital says that whenever you have 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity in a limit, you can just take the derivative of the top and the derivative of the bottom. So this is still the limit as h approaches 0. And let's go ahead and differentiate the numerator. So the derivative of e to the h is e to the h. Here, the derivative of 1 is 0. And then the derivative of h is 1 over on the bottom, we differentiate, so we use the power rule. So we bring down the 2, so we get 2h. And let's see what's going on. If you plug in 0, you get e to the 0 minus 1 over 2 times 0. e to the 0 is 1, so you get 1 minus 1 over 0. So you get 0 over 0. So now we have to use L'Hopital's rule again. So this is the limit. As h approaches 0, so again, taking the derivative of the numerator, the derivative of e to the h is e to the h. The derivative of negative 1 is 0. It's a constant, so it goes away. Over, on the bottom, the derivative of 2h is simply 2. And now we're at the point where we can actually just take the 0 and plug it in. We drop the limit sign, because we're taking the limit now. So this is e to the 0 over 2. e to the 0 is 1, so we just get 1 over 2. And that is the final answer. Really nice problem, right? Nice application of a problem where, you know, you use L'Hopital's rule twice and you get a really nice uh, answer at the end. I hope this video uh, has been helpful to someone out there in the world. Good luck.